Staples is proud to produce the Raising Cannabis Capital podcast. Today's episode will begin after this brief message from our sponsor. This ain't no desk job, but it's what you got to do to scale up to this in a single growing season. It's how in Oregon alone, we grew and harvested the single largest crop of CBG in the world. Grit, tenacity, hell, whatever you want to call it, the crew at Hampton USA has it by the bucket load. Just getting our seeds in the ground back in spring and growing them till fall was nothing short of heroic. Propagation, planting, maintaining what we have, and building what we need. Trust me, this shit ain't easy. But when it comes to harvest time, our team bumps the bar up to a whole new level. Next comes processing. Everything but the top flower goes off to get turned into crude, distillate, isolate, and water-soluble ready. Our product, like our team, is nothing less than best in class. This plant has always had the power to change the world, but it needs people to make it happen. We're lucky to have those people right here at Hamptown, USA. in the cannabis space is looking at the opportunities saying those markets provide uh, opportunity for expansion and honestly we have a great need for the services that we provide so we're looking towards expanding our geographic footprint you know moving into canada moving into other spaces and in, in the states and really following through what we think is the business model that best supports you know our clients here and our partners that exist in other spaces From MJ Bulls Media, it's the Raising Cannabis Capital Show. Today in the Raising Cannabis Capital Series, we are joined by Jeff Gray, the CEO of SC Labs. Jeff, welcome to the MJ Bulls Podcast. Thanks for having me, Dan. Jeff, I actually would like to start off the show with almost a public service announcement. You're a lab, you test cannabis, but I don't really know if people can appreciate that there are some dangers to ingesting cannabis just from the black market. I mean, those days should be gone. If you can elaborate a little bit on that before we get started, almost as a public service announcement. Sure. I still have been in business for 10 years now. We've definitely seen many iterations of the, of the cannabis industry and of the uh, cannabis space here in California. Over that time, hopefully we've had an impact on the industry that is moving us towards something that is safer, both for the patient and for those people seeking cannabis as something to add to their lifestyle, whether it be wellness or treating a medical condition or what have you. Now, I think the biggest problem for all of us over that time was the lack of transparency in, in the sourcing and the production of cannabis products. We had very little insight as consumers and as patients what we were ingesting. Any other product you put in or on your body has been tested to some degree. It has some amount of oversight. And obviously, because of the regulatory space and the political climate around cannabis, that wasn't something we were afforded. And we've seen an evolution in uh, best practices in the industry. And hopefully, labs like ourselves and others have, have had an impact on that, giving patients and consumers some way to have some amount of insight and have some amount of data. Today, cannabis testing labs provide so much more information than just that the products are free of contaminants. T tell us some of the other information that you provide to your clients and to their customers. Sure. California Lab, for instance, we're qualifying a product as being free from heavy metals, pesticides, residual solvents, pathogenic species of microbiology. Those are requisite and it establishes a baseline that whatever product you're buying off the shelf is clean. But there's this whole other world of cannabis testing that it feeds into providing value up and down the supply chain. So you can imagine that some of these products nowadays, the formulations are, are so intricate. 
We'll do a lot of R&D testing. We'll do a lot of in-process testing. Qualification of inputs to, to basically validating formulations, validating extraction efficiencies. I mean, we're really here to support our clients as partners, providing data that's actionable, that leads them to better practices or a better product. Sure. And, and I know in, just reading in your website, it, this isn't a one and done deal. There's a change from harvest to harvest on the same strain of cannabis, which just seems mind boggling to me. <laughs> Absolutely. When you, when you think about it, first, cannabis is an incredibly complex product. The number of bioavailable chemicals in a cannabis product are significant. I mean, some uh, yet really to be fully understood. And I think when you look at whether it's a cultivator and they're either checking practices or they're continuing to test harvest to harvest for differences between harvest, differences between output, or it's cannabis producers creating infused products, edibles, tinctures, what have you. I think in all of those, I don't think the job of quality assurance is ever done. There's hardly ever just the one and done. We've proven that this is clean or we've proven that this is the dosage. It's the, you know, sort of a constant vigilance there within any business to assure that the product meets their standard. We have some clients who have making incredible product and their standards are very high, as they should be. Mm -hmm. and there's this back and forth where we're continually feeding them data that allows them to achieve those standards. I want to take a minute to tell you about some really innovative things that our sponsor Cream of the Crop is doing in the cannabis space. Their brand is on fire. They have the fifth best-selling indoor flower brand in the state and they're profitable growing their business at 10% a month year to date. They're succeeding by helping cultivators turn profits through operation management and consulting in exchange for supply agreements. By bringing 30 plus years of cultivation experience, award-winning genetics, ultra-efficient SOPs, proprietary nutrient mixes, and their brand, they're able to help both operators who are new to the space and ones who want to just increase efficiency. In fact, they just increased profits for one of their clients by $700,000 per month. Just incredible. But what's really exciting is that they're expanding their highly scalable model beyond California. That's right, they're accepting applications across the country for 2021 and 2022 partnerships. Also, if you're planning to invest in cannabis, you should definitely look at Cream of the Crop because they're doing a capital round in early 2021 to help with their brand's national expansion. To learn more about partnering with Cream of the Crop or investing in their expansion, go to creamofthecropgardens.com. That's creamofthecropgardens.com. You have location in California and in Oregon. Or are there plans for new locations? So SC Lab started as a as California company. We've been here for the last 10 years. What we really focused on was this region of the country and its rich history of supplying so much cannabis and so many genetics and so much value to the cannabis industry and to the cannabis movement. As we saw this market begin to develop and grow, we realized that focusing on the California market was key. SE Labs is the largest market share, roughly 25% of the market here in California. That's taken some effort. So that's a significant position in a market this size. Oregon was sort of the next logical step for us when we looked at multi-state operators that, that we support as, as clients and partners or in basically where we saw the production happen. I mean, at some point, this won't be state by state and hopefully these regions will be really strong yeah we believe that to be the case moving forward i mean everybody in the cannabis space is looking at the opportunities saying those markets provide uh, opportunity for expansion and honestly have a great need for the services that we provide so we're looking towards expanding our geographic footprint you know moving into canada moving into other spaces and in, in the states and really following through with what we think is the business model that best supports you know, our clients here and our partners that exist in other spaces. I mean, with 10 years experience, the 25% market share of the largest market in the world, it seems only logical that you would expand that. And the industry needs you to expand. To do that, though, it's going to be tr tricky to do that at a cash flow. Are you going to be raising any money? Uh, we'll be doing another raise this year. I, I look at some of what's happening within the industry. I look at consolidation. 
I look at other groups expanding. I look at certain markets uh, opening, but obviously at these sort of very disparate paces. Some people feel regulation is moving too quickly, and others, obviously it's it's happening too slowly. Mm-hmm. So for us, I think we've been biding our time, if you will. As we're looking now, we see the same thing that you just brought up, which is a need. I think lab testing, support of quality of products, supporting quality standards, and, and protecting patient and consumer safety. Over the course of this year, we have plans to be in some spaces, both by expansion and by acquisition and moving on. We'll look to do fundraising to support that effort. I'm sure there are a lot of investors that would find your play really attractive. You know it's coming and you're going to have governments requiring it. So whether it's acquisitions or organic growth or joint ventures, you know, I see you guys as a market leader right now. And I think you're in a great position and I'm confident investors will see it the same way. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. It's been a long journey, and I'm going to say it's it's been an amazing one. We've watched the industry grow so much and feel like we've participated and contributed to it. These next steps, the business cycles are obviously accelerating, right? I mean, everything is happening so fast now. We're excited to see it. This is an important space to us, and we think that the service we're providing is providing a, a tremendous value. As we move forward, the people that we look to bring in as partners and expanding this vision, really looking for people that see it in very much the same way that we do exciting opportunity for us. And so far, we've been blessed to have some really good partners on board. Well, we've been speaking with Jeff Gray, who is the CEO of SC Labs. And we have all of their information on the MJ Bulls website. And I'm confident when they start their next round of funding that this information will be gobbled up quickly. So Jeff, thanks for being on the show today. I appreciate you taking the time to explain testing and more importantly, to explain how SC Labs is uh, going to move forward with this industry to make it better. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Dan. Good luck. Thanks for everything you do. Uh, thank you. Crappy's Feel Better Company is a cannabinoid CPG company with a line of easy-to-use CBG, CBD, and CBN products built for the weekend warriors, the weekday Zoomers, and anyone in between. Crappy's next-gen products incorporate pharmaceutical-derived chemistry to precisely blend minor cannabinoids and terpenes, creating a series of proprietary formulas for hyper-targeted use cases. Harnessing a team of experts with over 75 combined years of chemistry experience, the company relies on its novel solubility technology, state-of-the-art delivery, consistent results, and unique eye-catching branding to stand out from the crowd. Crappy's executive team and chemists have created a vast and diverse product pipeline to maintain relevance in a saturated market. To find out how you can participate in Crappy's Feel Better expansion, which includes major retail placements, university-executed clinical trials, IP and patent submissions, GMP and API scale-up, and international distribution? Go to crappiesfeelbetter.com or on Instagram at crappiesfeelbetter. Today's show was made possible by the generous support of our sponsors, like Alt36, the country's premier blockchain payment processing platform that's providing dispensaries and its customers with a safe and secure payment option other than cash. To learn more, go to alt36.com.